I'm going to show you how you can extract location data from your table images. I'll be using this tool by many extensions.com and I will add a URL to this in the description. So we've got a, um, an attachments field here and we've got a bunch of photos in here and we'd like to extract the GPS location for each photo and drop it in here. And these will be longitudes and latitudes. Um, so this is what you would see if you buy the tool, follow the three first blue URLs to follow uh, to fill in the API key, base ID, and table ID. After that, let me put these side by side and make this a little easier. Um, after that, you'll want to fill up the name of the attachments field. Make sure it's case sensitive. Grab that, drop it in here. Likewise for the longitude and latitude fields. Um, if you are using a number field, make sure you use decimal and use the highest precision. Otherwise, you'll be losing some of the uh, decimal places because longitudes and latitudes have a very high, um, they've got a lot of decimals. So, and um, yeah, you can always just use single line text as well to avoid that problem. So let's go ahead and run this. While it's running, let me explain a couple of things. So um, the attachments here, we only extract the location of the first attachment. So if you've got multiple attachments here, like if you got many, we will only look at the first image. Um, another thing is a lot of images don't have location information. So we left you a URL here to uh, go to this third party website where you can drop your image and it'll tell you whether or not it has location data. So be sure to check that um, to make sure that your images do actually have location data. And if they don't, we'll fill in a negative one in in instead of the location. So if you see negative ones, that means your image does not have location data. And uh, let's see, a couple of last things here. You can schedule this to run regularly and you can use a webhook. A webhook is a URL. Every time this URL is opened, this job will run. 